In this video, we're going to cover the time auditing process. Now, this is extremely important because the one resource that you're never going to be able to replace is your time. And chances are that you're always feeling like you don't have enough time to get done all the things you have to do in the day, whether that's work, trying to get workouts in, find time to eat, a few moments to yourself, taking care of the kids, whatever it is. You're always going to feel like you don't have enough time until you take control of that time. And that first begins by understanding where your time is going. So when I sit down with a lot of clients, the first thing that I notice is they are like, I'm so busy. I don't have time to work out. I don't have time to meal prep, et cetera, et cetera. And honestly, I completely understand that because it can really feel that way. Now, the one thing you need to make sure that you're doing always is being very intentional with your time and your schedule. It's the one thing that you're not going to get more of. You can always get more money. You can always get more of any resource that you're using. But the one resource you're not going to be able to replace is time. And that mastery of time is going to be the one resource that unlocks your ability to do everything else. So if you feel like you don't have enough time, this is the first thing that I want you to do in this process of reclaiming your time to be most effective with it. And so we have to understand where your time is going before we can understand what to do with it. And now just like food tracking, as you go through this process, it's going to bring some awareness to a lot of places you might be bleeding time. And what I mean by bleeding time is spending time on things that aren't aligned with your goals. So for example, if you have a goal to, you know, spend more time working out or to work on a project that you're excited about, but it just doesn't feel like you can never get to it. When you go through this activity, you might find out that you're spending like 30 or 45 minutes a day mindlessly scrolling through social media or taking time between work tasks to, you know, check in an internet website or something like that really quick or chronically checking your email. And as you go through, you start to become aware that these little slips here and there throughout the day are really adding up to a chunk of time that's going to take out, you know, what you'd be using for something that's more meaningful to you. So the first step in this process is I want you to pull up the document that's attached to this lesson. And for one week, I want you to go through this document in 15 minute intervals. And there's a very specific reason for that, which I'll get to in a minute and record everything that you can remember that you did. Now, it's great if you, you know, you're on your computer throughout the day and you have this tab open just to jot down, right? So you could put in, you know, 6 a.m., you know, wake up, make coffee, kind of get rolling for the day. The next 15 minutes, maybe you're checking email or something like that and so on all the way through the day until you go to sleep. So everything you do from the moment you wake up until you go to sleep in 15 minute intervals. Now, chances are you're going to start to notice throughout the week that you're you're losing time in the transition between activities, right? So maybe, you know, you wake up, you get your coffee, maybe you do an hour of work, but then you get sidetracked and you start reading it to emails, you move things into your junk mail, things like that. Or you notice that, you know, when you have to commute to work, it takes you about 30 minutes to get settled in before you get started. So I want you to go through this calendar uh, for an entire week and fill that out. Once that's done, what I want you to do is go through all the activities in this calendar, all the things you spent time on, and highlight the cell in red if it's something that's a loss of time or time spent not moving towards your goal, and then highlight in green if it's something that's moving you towards your goal or helping you get closer to where you eventually want to be. Chances are you're going to find a lot more red in the calendar than you expected. Now, there's no reason to be upset about this or feel judged or anything like that. We all do it. I do this pretty frequently, at least once a month, just to check in to make sure I'm being most efficient with my time. And I always end up finding things that I can improve on. But the good news is once we bring that awareness to it, we start to make changes in the right direction. So the first step in this process is going to be to audit your time for one week in 15 minute increments. And then at the end of that week, and we'll probably do this on a coaching call together, we'll go through this calendar, we'll look at all those reds and greens, and then we're gonna start to strategize and build your calendar strategically so that there's less transition time and a lot less of that red on. So you'll end up doing things that make you much more effective, and then you'll end up having free time that you thought was lost because you feel so busy all the time. So this will take cumulatively maybe like 30 minutes out of the whole week to do. Like I said, keep it open on your desktop and just reference it back and fill it in. And then at the end of the week, I want you to highlight in green the things that were time spent moving towards your goals and things in red that were time spent moving away from your